G'day guys, and today I want to talk about a mechanism of communication which I don't think is discussed enough within the alternative media community. And that is the idea that you should be discussing ideas, not people. So why is this so? Why do I believe this? And why do I think this is something that's important enough to make a video about? Well, if you're watching this video, if you're on this side of YouTube or BitChute in general, you're probably interested in sort of the metapolitical battle, the culture war, uh, and that sort of thing that is going on at the moment. You want to talk to people, whether interpersonally, face-to-face, -face, or across the internet like I'm doing right now, and you want to sort of expose people to new perspectives, change people's minds, so to speak. And my issue with talking about specific people is that you get sort of you can get very trapped in the minutiae of that specific person, uh, especially if you know them. You get caught up in personal context. You can be easily sidetracked in that sort of thing. And people aren't focusing on sort of the idea behind this person. They're focusing on, as I mentioned, the minutia and any personal interactions they've had with them. So I'll give you an example. Uh, somewhat recently, I was speaking with an old friend from high school. And we were discussing the idea that, you know, being sexually promiscuous is very disrespectful both to yourself and to other people. So there I was prattling away and things like that. And I was mentioning, uh, I mentioned without naming the person, a specific person in our year group who had, um, who was engaged in sexually promiscuous behavior and who I was saying was exhibiting extremely antisocial behavior. She was, a, she was using people for that sort of thing for her own personal gain. And... My friend's brother um, chimed into this conversation and he basically said, oh, is that so-and-so? And I said, yes, that in, I was indeed referring to so-and-so. And he said, ah, you know, she's such a slut. Now, if you're basically just out to verbally ream someone, then taken away from the conversation that that person is a slut or a thief or whatever is perfectly fine. But what I was attempting to do was expose a wider idea. This idea that people who are promiscuous uh, use other people and they have no respect for other people or themselves because they do this very, you know, close personal act with them and it means nothing and that sort of thing. And so I want to kind of go beyond the individual here. I don't want to talk about this specific person. I want to talk about the idea as a whole and what it means for society and that sort of thing. But the problem is if we start getting bogged down in specific people, oh, I saw person X do this and it resulted in Y or, you know, person C abstained from this and therefore B what inevitably happens is that you lose your grasp on the idea when you start focusing on individuals. And this can be very uh, visceral or very obvious, I should say, in that you could just be like, oh, you know, that reminds me of this other thing that happened and blah, 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 blah. And the conversation totally takes a right turn to where you wanted it to go initially. Or it can just be that when the person, uh, say this, my friend's brother, when he goes away from the conversation, all he can recall is, you know, this person was a slut. And again, that's fine and dandy if I was just out to ream that person, but I wasn't. I wanted to explore this bigger idea. So I don't want people just thinking about the individual, although certainly individuals can be a good case study, a good example. Like, But I think it would be best not to name names, so to speak. Not for the sake of protecting anyone's identity or something, but for the sake of preserving the integrity of the, um, the conversation in that we should be speaking about the idea rather than the individual clearly what I could have done to focus the conversation on this wider and more reaching idea is to be more vague and nondescript with my examples. I could have said, oh, I recall someone at a specific time, not necessarily even saying, you know, someone back in high school or something like that. Keep it very vague so people can't lock onto any minutia and start talking about either specific events or specific people. Ah, oh, I remember that party too, you know, and I also saw X do Y, and but at the same time I was doing blah, blah, blah. It's just more avenues for the conversation to disappear down, because then you can start talking about that great party, or that specific person again, and what you saw them do at another date, and things like that. We really should be focusing on the grand idea, because what's going to change people's minds, what's going to change the uh, sort of the culture, what's going to change the metapolitics, is not a single individual, not the acts of a single, a single individual, I should say. And whilst that can be incredibly inspiring, we can think of a particular politician that comes out and says something really profound. It's the idea behind the politician, the figurehead that really matters. Of course, I recognize this can be difficult at times. It is particularly easy to, you know, focus on specific events and specific people because that's sort of like a conversational high, like a quick little uh, junk food moment where you can just prop the conversation up with lots of little things. And it makes you feel important when you do say something like, yes, that was the person I was referring to. You become sort of this 
momentary momentary uh, knowledgeable guru of sorts it's it's very interesting i don't i can't really put it uh, concisely into words but you do become the center of the conversation in that moment and that makes you feel good and of course it does give the conversation a quick high to confirm a certain thing about a certain people or uh, talk very um, emotively about an event or person but we have to ask ourselves collectively as an entire group as people participating in the culture war as people participating in the metapolitical battle what do we want from our conversations do we want junk food conversations just little little highs and that sort of thing or we laugh about sp specific events specific peoples or do we want to foster sort of grander ideas within people what do we want people to take away from our conversations you know i could come out and i could make uh videos talking about oh look at this um look at this dumb politician look at sarah hansen young and look at she's such an idiot and that sort of thing and i could ream on that but that would kind of be like a junk food video instead what i should come out and do is criticize her ideas and say look this idea that she has is stupid and here's why and that's more applicable to the broader scope of things because if we just ream on say for example sarah hansen young or insert any politician here we're only talking about that person it becomes harder to sort of shift that um that uh the focus of that video to another one whereas if you talk about the idea behind it you can easily apply that to anyone so if, if i sort of uh give an example here talk about look these um left-leaning green party members their ideas are laughable and here's why well someone in another country can take that idea and apply it to their own sort of uh version of the green party they have over there so that's about all i have to say on that Small minds discuss people and events. Greater minds discuss the ideas behind those people and those events. Maybe once in a while, it's okay, just like junk food, to indulge and make a funny little troll video talking shit about a particular event or person. But I would ask us all to focus on the grander ideas behind certain things because this is more applicable to everyone. And I think it'll go a lot longer, a lot further I should say, in helping us win the culture war, in helping us win the metapolitical battle. As always, thanks for sticking around and have a good one.